New at 10, a parting shot tonight at the new Memphis Shelby County Superintendent. In fact, a couple of school board members who lost their jobs in last month's election are saying tonight they may have made a mistake in hiring Dr. Marie Fagans. So is it sour grapes or sober realization that they got it wrong? WREG's Brian Didlake has details. The contract of the superintendent allows uh, for board members at any given time to provide feedback. If this was feedback, some board members aren't holding back, offering a scathing review of the superintendent they hired just a few months ago. WREG obtained two letters ahead of the superintendent's six-month evaluation, one from outgoing board member Mauricio Calvo and the other from outgoing member Dr. Althea Green. Both lost their seats in last month's election. Both said they wanted to advise incoming board members on who they'd be working with. I tried to be as objective as possible and balancing some of her attributes, uh, a strong communicator, uh, a, a super hard worker. But Calvo says he also has two major concerns, claiming the superintendent has an inability to listen to others and too often pushes back on checks and balances. Really creating a culture that was very toxic. Some of this echoed in another letter from the former school board chairwoman, Althea Green complaining Dr. Fagans fails to communicate with the board about personnel changes and now claiming she was the least qualified candidate, even going as far to say hiring her was a mistake. Would you agree with that? I agree. And I'm going to say that on record that I agree because I was one of the constituents that did interview her. In fact, the board voted overwhelmingly to hire Fagans, claiming it chose the new superintendent after, quote, learning of Dr. Fagan's deep understanding of urban education, commitment to equity, and academic vision for MSCS. One board member called her the quote, visionary change maker the district needs. Now, barely six months into the job, some board members are having buyer's remorse claiming district morale has hit a new low. Point to this is uh, it's about the children. It is about the teachers. It is about the children. We reached out to the district for comment and we're waiting to hear back, but some have heard and seen enough. In Shelby County, Brian Ditlick, WREG, New Channel 3. Of course, a story we will be following throughout the week. Meanwhile, a